Hi. Today, uh, I already created a hello uh, application. Here's the main file. So it basically all encodes this function here, and uh, with the argument 18, and the function looks like this, and it takes an argument here, and probably from name we can guess that it prints something. I can open it. Here it is. It actually adds five to the argument, puts it in the local variable res, and prints out hello and the number res world, a new line. That's it. Okay, let's build it. Make. Yes, it works. Run it. 18 plus 5 should be 23. Correct. And to debug it, you can do like this. Meta x gdb. And this mode called gdb many windows. Like that. Okay, start to start debugging. Now I'm on line number one. And step to go into this function. Print hello. Here. Step. Okay, now I'm in it. In print hello. I can see I have some local variables. Actually only one. Res. And its number is not initiated yet. Okay, next line. Now it's initiated to 23. 5 plus 18. I can see down here in the stack frame that with argument 18. Alright. And 18 plus 5 is 23. So in the next line, print 23 world. Okay. Next line, boom, print. Hey, hello. 23 world. Like that. Fin, finished it function, return to the caller. Yes, here we are. Continue to the end. Program exit mode. Okay. And now we're gonna do a little trick. Make it clean. Uh, okay, here we are. I'm gonna take this hello and generate the assembly code for it. It's done like this GCC uh, and then out hello asm dot s. S is the assembly extension and big S to stop uh, of the assembly stage. Hello, let's see. And now we have a new file, hello asm.s. And look at it. And it looks like this, and it contains this function, print hello. You can see here's the format string, and it's actually called lc0 here. And we can also edit this file. I'm gonna rename it to format string. And it's called down here. that. Okay, so now I change it also. Ah, we can look at what it does first. First it does something with BP, base pointer, pushes it on the stack, then it copies the stack pointer to the base pointer, subtract 40 from stack pointer, that's to make some space for local variables and stuff. Move something to EAX, which I suspect is the argument, which in this case was 18. Add 5 to the argument, yes, that's what it did. 5 plus 18, uh, it's 23. Move the result, 23, to somewhere on the stack. Move the pointer to the string, format string, to EAX. Uh, one of these is the format string. Uh, EAX is the format string and EDX is the result, yeah. So move result to this uh, address and uh, move the argument to this address and then call printf boom leave that actually restores base pointer and stack pointer the values for that yes and then return all right now i'm gonna uh, compile this gcc and add some uh, debug info hello from hello us.s and main.c and Run hello, does it work? Yes, it works. And debug. Now it should be interesting. Okay, start. Ah, we're here in the main 
again and now we should get into the assembly code to step into print hello yes here we are in the assembly code now up here there's no locals anymore but if you look at the registers yeah we can see the values for the register actually okay next line push ebp something should happen to ebp no but something happened to the stack because ebp was pushed to the stack next e move esp to ebp okay now ebp should get the value of esp boom it did now they are the same next subtract 40 from esp Ding. okay so 40 was subtracted from esp next move something to eax which i think was the argument uh, yeah 12 hex that, that's 18 uh, add 5 to eax 17 hex is 23 uh, and then move something yeah and move the result to the stack and move the address of the format string to eax now we have this address here yeah examine we can examine with x slash s to tell it it's a string yeah here it is Let's go down a couple of lines. Yeah, the argument was in DX, as I suspected, and the pointer to the string was in EAX. Yeah, and both now they both are on the stack, and then call printf, and it should print it. Hello, 23 world, yeah. Leave now, okay, watch ESP and EBP. Now leave should do something to those, and they did. And then return. You can just call Fina to get to the main.c. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Continue. Program actually normally. Uh, so, uh, in a... Hello, Asma. In a real application, you should identify the bottleneck of the program. Uh, a C file that only has one function that you want to optimize. Generate assembly code and then, from here, uh, you can go in and modify the assembly code. In this case, we can see EBP and ESP bo are both used for something similar. We actually only need to one of them. And we can e even tell the C compiler. Just write this. Um, add a... After S, F omit frame pointer. Yes. Let's look at it now. So BP should be gone. And it's gone. Now it only works with ESP here. ESP, 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 ESP. And it actually did don't push the EBP, okay, of course. And it never calls leave. Instead, here we did sub 44. And at the end, add 44 to ESP. So, that, this code should actually be a little more efficient. So, that, that was one of the optimizations we could do by hand. Uh, here we, we, we told GCC to perform this optimization. And you could go from here and optimize, optimize it further. And that, but that is an exercise I leave to you. Bye bye.